guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today I'm gonna to start off the supermarket series that I have mentioned previously in a video about doing whenever I go and do my weekly food shop whenever it is that I'm in a supermarket I thought I would shop the aisles for you and let you know what's new in we do actually have quite a big Tesco's near us so I'm gonna kick start with Tesco's this week I might not do these every week because to be honest with you don't do a shop every single week sometimes we can go longer than that especially if we get a couple of takeaways but whenever it is that i'm next in a supermarket i will shop the aisles for you and let you know what's new in oh little man's just sleeping behind me he is just about to have his next meal hi you buddy do you want to come say hello please just let me sleep but i want to feed him let him out to the toilet and then go so that he has a nice long nap because this is the first time that I'm leaving him for, I mean, I've left him once before for about 50 minutes is the longest I've left him. And even that I was like a panicked stress head worrying and we've got camera system. So I keep checking in, making sure he's all right. He's fine, he's sound asleep. So it's more me that doesn't like leaving you. He's like, let me go sleep. So I'm gonna head to Tesco's in a bit and see what we can find. I might even see if there's anything for you. Yeah. Um, and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Look at that handsome boy. He's so handsome. <laughs> <sighs> and just like that, we are back. So I was gone for an hour. And it was the longest hour of my life. I'm actually going to use this as a bit of a tripod. So I'll show you this first. I've got some Diet Coke. A nice a big pack of 10. And... I'll also show this next because it'll keep him occupied whilst I show you everything else I picked up. So this was one of the uh, dog toys that they had. It's like a little football. And this was two pounds. So let's see. Bunny, what's this? Oh, is this for you? Is this for you? Go get him. He's not so sure. Ready? Woo! Woo! Let him play football for a bit. Good boy, is that your new toy? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna play with it by myself if that's all right. I just kind of put things in the bags randomly in order to make them fit. So I'm not gonna do this in any particular order. If we are sticking with dog theme, one of you guys actually sent me a picture of these on Instagram, so thank you. They had in the Valentine's Day section, I don't know why they were in the Valentine's Day section, but they were, dog bandana, and it's I love my human, I suppose it's love related so a cute little bandana and also this which i thought was quite fun it's a set of cards which are for your pet milestone so let's have a look at a couple of these cards i'm stuck on the sofa uh oh cute their first holiday first time having a treat well we've not captured that but never mind first christmas i guess he's already had one but not with us first time on social media again he's already done that first porty first time doing a trick first time on adult food first family reunion we are going to be doing a nice family reunion walk next year on their birthday i think i also got two books so i actually wanted to get my hands on the new or well, 2021 sherry lapena book because i've read some of hers before and liked them uh, but i couldn't see any of those in he's like trying to play with this toy right by my feet um, I couldn't see any of her books in, so I instead got these. They were on offer two for nine pounds. Lucy Folly, the guestess, I love the sound of this. Each has a secret, each has a motive. Off the windswept Irish coast, guests gather for the wedding of the year, but one guest won't leave this wedding alive. And then this one is from Lisa Jewell, who I have read one of her books before. London, 3 a.m., tragic accident, then your life begins to fall apart. You think you have the perfect life, you're successful, attractive, well-liked, and you've just got married for the third time, but that's okay because everyone's happy, including your new wife, but she has a secret, and secrets have consequences, some of which can be devastating. So I'm excited to give them a read when I get a chance. This sounded a bit of me, so I decided to pick it up, plus I love the look of it. We actually really have a bar cart, so when we have all alcohols on display, I love the look of this bottle. So it's from a brand called Limehouse Gin, and honestly, it's the flavor that caught my attention. Apple and cinnamon. I'm sure that's not gonna be a popular choice for gin, but for me, I know I'm gonna love that. And especially at like Christmas time as well, I think that'll be really nice and warm. 
I don't know, sounds good. I also picked up a magazine. If you saw my Pinterest with me, home ideas and inspirations. I also love browsing magazines, home interior style magazines. This is called Living Etc. It was 4 dollars This is the February edition. Plus how nice is that front cover? Like that could easily be like on display. Love that. Let's just have a sniff around. I actually have an update video coming next video, which is going to be his day in the life with an eight week old puppy because that was all sort of pre filmed. So that is coming next week if you want like pup dates on Barney Boo. I've got a couple more bits from the Valentine's Day section. This is a Valentine's cupcake set. I do actually have a cupcake baking kit, you know, one of the lazy bakes, an easy kind of like box baking, but it's Halloween themed with black cupcake cases and little eyes that you use for ghosts. I did do one at Halloween, so I have one of them. I might use these cases instead of make it more Valentine's Day themed. Maybe do that on Valentine's Day. Let me know if you want me to vlog Valentine's Day. I did think about it because he'll be walking by then. And then I also found this, which I thought looked so nice. I love the kind of like minimal acrylic design to it. You can pop a couple of pictures, like three Polaroid style pictures they've used. And then you can also make a quote or word or something along the bottom. It comes with 88 different letter and character titles to create whatever you want. I thought that could be a fun little also pet milestone to take pictures of with him on Instagram. I did get a Valentine's Day card for Tom. I'm not going to show it though because it's like a bit of an inside joke. And then when I was leaving, they had these free Tesco's vouch vouchers, like magazines. So I might have a flick through and look up a couple of recipes that they've got in there. I always love grabbing one of the free magazines just to have a little browse through when I get home. And then I did get two Yankee Candle Voters, but I can only find one, so I don't know if one's dropped out in the car or I might come across it in a second. This one is in Cozy Up in grey, and then I also got a white one, which I think was white lace and linen or something. And then I got this that they had at 50p, and it fits perfectly, the little votives in. It's just like a little tea light holder. Um, I thought that would be perfect for lighting my votives. And then, to go in my oil burner, I also picked up this from Fox and Ivy, which is their, like, homeware range. They did have a scent that I wanted to get my hands on, which I couldn't see. It's like a cedarwood and something, oak or something, I can't remember. But anyway, I picked up the pink pepper and patchouli to try it out. Oh, riveting content here. A pack of socks. These are actually men's. They're one size, though. So I'm thinking we can share them, but this is... Five pounds for a set of 10, black, white, and gray. And they're kind of like sports style, so I quite like them. I also picked up two new reed diffusers. One in particular I love the sound of, but I also, again, love the look of them, the branding and everything, I love. This one in particular, because it's, you know, white. It's a open window scent, so it eliminates and neutralizes odors with extracts of lily, violet, and orange flower. And then this one, I love the sound of, it's called the Chef's Cuisine de Chef Rediffuser. And this, again, perfect for in the kitchen, eliminates and neutralizes odors. So if you're cooking fish or like a particularly scented dinner, then this has extracts of basil, patchouli, and geranium to help neutralize this scent in the kitchen, which I love that. I might snack on these in a second because they sound amazing. I really want to try them. These are quinoa chips. Well, they're like corn puffs and they look like what's it, but they're somewhat healthier because they're quinoa. White cheddar flavor, sound delish. I'm going to enjoy them. So a set that I picked up from the Fox and Ivy range that they do, not gone for the full set or anything. Uh, they did have big plates and side plates, but I went for two bowls, like a deep pasta dish and a smaller bowl and then also a mug. So these were all around about the two to three to four pounds. I'm obsessed with the actual texture design of them, but I thought uh, these would be great for like nibbles. I love getting really nice crockery for putting in nibbles and things to snack on, especially on like Sundays or if you're having a cheese board to have little crisps or like olives in these. I have quite a few different ones. I do have quite a few festive editions, but wanted some more all year rounders. So yeah, I picked up this set. Oh, I knew I'd come across it. Here's the other votive. This is white linen and lace. You wanted to come up and say hello? He wants to know what's going on. Don't you? You feel like you're missing out on all the action up here. He loves watching the cars when I hold him up here, don't you? Don't you, Bobby? Mwah. Okay, okay, okay. My favorite kind of drink to just have in the evening. 
diet ginger beer. It's so hard to find, honestly, the diet version. But I picked up two of those packs. So I now have a stockpile. Might have one of those this afternoon as well. We have just run out of Nespresso capsules. Well, we've got a couple left. And I thought I would try the actual branded ones from Tesco, Tesco's finest, that they do. I didn't realise that they did them. The number six and number ten, hopefully we'll like them because they are a bit cheaper than the, the Starbucks ones. They're like £3 something. They were about £2.50. I also got this to do a little, again, easy baking, easy cooking. Just roll ready, rolled puff pastry sheet that you can pop like little squares of maybe cheese and ham in or is that fruit oh yeah i wouldn't have even thought to do like a dessert version little pizzas little cinnamon rolls i'm thinking actually more savory options for these but i love getting the just roll for the croissants and pan of as well how nice wonder these look because i love the wilkin and sons branding but i picked up two new spreads that sound delightful, that also sound like they're gonna make you stink. <laughs> Roasted garlic mayonnaise, like a garlic alioli, and then one for me, this, as opposed to Tom, I don't think he would like this, probably a bit too sickly and sweet for him, but truffle mayo, I've tried the Heinz one before, and it is pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm excited to give this one a try. Easter chocolate, they had all the Easter eggs. <sighs> How nice is this? A little mini eggs tin, as opposed to having Christmas chocolates out. When it gets to Easter, you can have some Easter chocolates out. So this actually contains 10 bags of mini eggs in a little tin. Yeah, it does. It's not for you though. And then another Easter chocolate that I got. I mean, it's an Easter egg. Oh, you're right. It's a full on Easter egg, but it's white Oreo chocolate white oreo chocolate i think this was only about three pounds as well which i thought was really affordable for an easter egg oh an easter egg that sounds delicious oh tongue in the mouth tongue in the mouth more coffee because i love coffee cinnamon bun latte is my fave i picked up two boxes of these maybe three or four weeks three weeks ago I finished them already absolutely love them i hope they carry them on though and it not just be like a seasonal thing because i love them and then we needed some ground coffee for our filter coffee machine, which we like to do in the morning if we're both here, especially like on a Sunday morning. Um, house blend from Starbucks, this one is. They did have another one as well, which was a Colombian blend, I think. Oh, and last of the Easter chocolates before I move on to the fashion. Oh, have we got a couple bits left? Uh, Reese's now do a peanut butter cream egg. Peanut butter cream egg, yum. So I've got two of them. And then one of the Oreo ones, which I love the Oreo ones, and they were on offer three for, they're usually like three for a pound or something, aren't they? This is a cat toy. I've bought a cat toy for Barney. When the light shines in here and is like reflecting off a piece of jewelry or on my laptop or something and it's on the wall or the ceiling, he goes mad for it. So I got one of those cat laser toys. I think this is about four pounds exercise and fun so i thought we could have fun running around with that when he's doing his zoomies and he needs to get some energy out because this is one energetic pup let me tell you that's everything that i got other than fashion you want to see my fashion show you want to see what clothes i picked up for you to chew and make holes in like you have everything else <laughs> I actually struggled with the fashion, I'm not going to lie. There were so many things online or that I've seen on their Instagram page, which I wanted to get my hands on. But they only had sizes sort of 16, 18, 20, and 22. So the bits that I did manage to get hold of um, were a small selection of what I actually wanted to get. So I might go back and have another look, or I don't know if you can order online for F and F. But these are just some casual, comfy lounge pants for just around the house in a super soft fabric made to dream loungewear by f and f these were 14 pounds and i got these in a 12 to 14 because they do have a cinch in drawstring type waist so i'm hoping i'll be able to cinch that in and make them work and then this i'm obsessed with it's like a nice lounge thick knit cozy cardigan with pocket details no hardware absolutely love it i did size up to a 16 in this one they did actually have my size in this one i actually wanted it more oversized for me anyway so 16 i went for then i got this which is actually very similar to what i'm already wearing and i live in this for just days like today around the house getting stuff done so do you like it barney do you like it 
It looks like another one of me, right? It's in a lighter cream colour and it's got like a zip up. Nice big kind of pocket detail. Super fleecy and cosy. Good for layering. And it's actually part of their active wear range, this one. It is 20, 20 pounds and I size up to an extra large in that one. Again, I wanted it more oversized. Right. And then I also picked up these active leggings. Love the colour of these. Something a little bit different to the regular black that I always opt for. £10 these ones were. And they've got four-way stretch, quick dry, active legging. I feel like these will be good for when we start getting out and about walking with little man over there. Okay, this is what I really wanted to get my hands on this whole set. They only had the hoodies i think they had one or two pairs of bottoms but they were in a 22 so i couldn't like cinch them in or make them work so i did pick up the hoodie in the hope that i can get the matching bottoms because these are super soft this was 16 pounds i got a size 16 in this one i just absolutely love the fit of it again the matching i say matching jogger it's more of a legging and it's that kind of ribbed knit material, super, super soft. So I really, really want to get my hands on the leggings for that to have it as a full set. I did, last but not least, pick up these. And again, these are a size too big for me. They're actually a 14. Uh, they were 15 pounds, but they do have the, oh no, they don't, they don't. Okay, these are gonna have to go back. It's one of them fake drawstring tie waist. It actually doesn't cinch in. It's just a little design detail so these are probably going to be too loose for me on the waist but i love the cable knit design of them i absolutely love these leggings so much i really want to maybe try and get my hands on a size that actually fits because i love that anyway that's everything that i got barney part one of my supermarket series if you do want more of these next time i am venturing out to do a supermarket shop do let me know let me know if you want me to include like all the groceries as well i just like to include like the fun bits but if you want a full meal ideas type video as well maybe where i can actually show you all the food before i put it away then yeah let me know thank you so much for watching do subscribe for more and follow us on instagram we both have instagram the house also has an Instagram. I'll leave them all linked below. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.